Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh Gorantra and today we are going to discuss about mobile automation testing by using Python. Hi friends, welcome back and today we are going to discuss about how to uh, do it for phone call. Okay, how we can able to make a call for negative apps. Okay. And in the previous video, we saw about app package and app package activity. Okay, to click this one by default automatically, if you provide an app package and app activity, it will open this particular window. Okay, then we need to click for this particular uh, uh, one. Then we need to click one, two, three, some numbers. Okay, then we need to run it. And we'll see like this one and after that, we need to click cancel button. Okay, like this we need to do it. Okay, how we can able to do it. This all the things. Okay. And for this we need to first we need to connect with that particular app. Okay. And after whenever it is like default, it will open like this. And we can able to connect for this particular app. I'll copy this code into phone call page. Okay. And then I'll remove this all the things. In my previous video, we can able to see for app activity app package, right? For dialed one. For this is my app activity. Sorry, app package. And next one is app activity okay i'm saying now whether we are able to open this particular this call one or not we'll see okay first we need to run this call once you run it will go and uh, connect to and it will open for that particular app here See now, now we can able to see, right? Now phone call is opened, okay? Now by default, it is showing for add a favorite location, but we need to click for recent calls. Then we need to click for this particular one that we can able to do it, okay? Now I will go to this particular app inspector. then uh, i'll uh, first i'll connect to that particular app now he can uh, see for this is my recent caller okay text there is no text for that Then it is showing something like index dollar package and resource ID it is showing. Okay, we'll copy this recent caller ID. The frame and it is provided for recent calls. You can see this is X part, this is the frame layout. If you see package, text, there is no text, that's why I'm not able. Yeah, text we can able to recent callers copy and i will make for this here and text i'm going to create it for xpath for this okay that is called uh, recent calls only then i'll remove this okay now by using this particular xpath i'll uh, driver 
dot a find element okay by equal to app pm by dot x path and then i'm going to use a value double quotation my value okay then i'm going to click for that particular app once i click the app then i need to like I need to click on dial app as well, this particular dial app. Okay. And then I'm going to take for my exposure. Even you can directly click for that particular dialog also. There is no problem. And I'm going to take this export directly. Even uh, accessibility ID it is there. That is keypad. Okay. And I'm going to take for keypad itself accessibility ID. Uh, driver dot a find element by equal to appm by dot accessibility id and then i'm going to provide for my value okay that is a keypad okay once i provide the keypad it will open like this and i need to enter for numbers okay i need to click one by one number it will not possible to enter the value. We need to click one by one. Okay. For this, again, I'm going to inspecting here. Now I'm going to take for this X path. Okay. The text, it is becoming one. And I'm taking for this X path and text become a one. Right. Then this is my X path. I have to write in. Okay. Now here I'm going to use for driver dot a find element by equal to appm by dot x path then i'm going to use for my value and send keys not send keys sorry it is click click operation and same thing again one more sorry i need to i'll copy for this into four times okay now i'm going to make it for here two three four and five okay once we enter the five letters we need to click for this call button then when you call at that, there is a text become a, here it is there. And accessibility ID also there, that is called a dial. Okay, and dial is the one I have dial, then I'm going to use for my driver.find element by equal to appm by dot accessibility ID. And then I'm going to provide for my value become dial dot click okay i'm going to dial okay once i dial it will give you red and all right we will can able to see the those things whether we can able to get it or not okay like this it will be we can able to enter the cancel we can able to do for manual you know, even automation also we can able to do it okay this is my operation whether we can able to do it for this calling symbol or not even you can valid one you can try but emulator you cannot because emulator there is no uh, sim right if you are connecting with a real device then you can able to call Okay, it is not able to click for keypad. Can you see? For oh, clicking for recent, we can directly click for. Uh, it 
we can try for directly click for keypad whether it will click the keypad or not waiting time it is there that waiting time how we need to use and all i'll show in the later video sessions okay it is not able to connect for the keypad one okay no problem we'll write for export then we need to reconnect one more time because uh, in automation also we are connected with the same emulator that's why it will not be connected properly okay this is the one we need to take this is a package that is called a context keypad it is there and we can able to use it for class name okay class name xpath okay then at the rate i can able to use for solid context xpath is already written here in the top and we can oh okay we written here but we are not clicked that's why it is failing sorry the click operation is not done we'll see now the click operation is mandatory that's why it is not able to click So it is clicked the recent and it is clicked for dialed and now you can see the numbers also it is clicking and it is highlighting now so now you can see we can able to dial like this how many times you want you can able to try it even real device also you can able to connect the similar format but you need to that moment if you are using for real device like how to connect the real device i showed you in the starting time okay for the same law format what you can do right similar this particular uh, emulator you should not connect okay you need to connect with your mobile okay then use the same inspector and try to find all the elements then you can able to find all the things okay same code everything code is same only here uh, you need to add it for app package and app activity then you can able to add it for all the code then you can able to run your script it automatically it will click for your real device okay some due to some issue of my mobile uh, not able to show you right now okay otherwise i can able to show you my real device as well okay Please do practice and next video session we will connect. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues and don't forget to comment on this video. Thank you.